The ancient martial art known as silat requires patience, agility and mental strength. Singapore's national team is in the middle of a gruelling session and they're doing it on an empty stomach. It's definitely tough, but I guess um, it's all about endurance. So whenever I, I train, I do feel very thirsty because water is very important for me. It's Ramadan, the holy month, when millions of Muslims around the world abstain from eating and drinking from sunrise to sunset. It's a time for spiritual reflection and prayer, but it also presents a challenge for these athletes who are ramping up their training ahead of this year's Southeast Asian Games. Let's say I get thirsty and all during training, I'll just be like, you know, it's just going to be half an hour and then you can drink, you can eat all you want. It's not going to kill you or anything. This is going to eat after, they, after this. Practicing Muslims can be formally excused from fasting if they're sick or they have to travel. There's an ongoing debate about whether professional athletes should also be excused. But for now, it's a personal choice. Once the sun goes down, the team breaks fast together. Then it's back to work. It's not just professional athletes who juggle fasting with fitness. I'm hangry at the beginning, but now it's more of um, just controlling the emotions as well. Rihanna Montesano runs marathons in her spare time. I'd actually feel weird if I stop exercising. So the trick is to find the time when it's best to do it. She does light training before breaking fast with water that was so worth it. And chocolate. It's not the nicest, but it'll do the trick. Experts say there's no reason why everyone can't combine faith and fitness. In a nutshell, probably think about modifying their training sessions, keep a balanced diet, um, and stay well hydrated as well. For those counting down the days, next week marks the end of Ramadan. And that's followed by a holiday called Eid, which is all about catching up with friends and family. And, of course, feasting. Lucy Martin, BBC News, Singapore.